Hello kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shivani again from the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse and I am ready to read another super fun story with you all today. Yesterday we read The Little Excavator and remember he worked along with his teammates to fix up an old abandoned dirty lot and make it into a beautiful new space. So he did something really great to help take care of the earth. And today we're going to read another book that is all about taking care of the earth. It is called Planting a Rainbow. And if you like flowers, you are going to love this book. Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ehlert. Ehlert. Sometimes I don't know how to pronounce people's last names, so I do my best to use the knowledge I have about letter sounds to sound them out. And sometimes that's what you have to do when you come across words that you're just not sure what they say. Just sound them out. That's what I do. So in this book, let's see what this um, these people are doing to help take care of our earth. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. Oh, I love how that word is written in a rainbow. I like rainbows. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. So bulbs go under the ground. And this label right here tells you what things they have planted. So it looks like they've planted a tiger lily bulb and a red tulip bulb, an orange tulip bulb, a yellow daffodil bulb, a blue hyacintha, hyacinth bulb, a purple crocus corm, hmm, a purple beaded, bearded iris resum. I don't know exactly how to pronounce all those fancy bulbs, but they sound like they're gonna be beautiful flowers. I like that they labeled them right here too, so we can tell what they're going to be. So you might forget. We ordered seeds from catalogs and waited all winter long. <gasps> Those are all the different seeds that they have ordered, separate from the bulbs. Zinnias are one of my favorite flowers. Which one do you like? Oh, so pretty. We wait all winter long for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. Ooh, so here are all of those bulbs that are now growing. And some grow at a different rate than others, which is okay. This one right here, the, the tulips. Ooh, yeah, that one looks like it's grown really fast. And the daffodil looks beautiful as well. The other ones are just starting to sprout. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. Hmm, what's a seedling? Is that a seedling? From this picture, it looks like a seedling is a plant that has started to grow, but isn't yet an adult plant. That's what the picture clue is telling me. So it's like a baby plant. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in the soil. Oh, so here's lots more. Wow. Check out that beautiful garden. I like it. And we watch our rainbow grow. Do any of you have a garden? I don't have a garden, but my mom and my stepdad have a really big garden at their house. They like to garden a lot. I just don't have enough time to garden, but it seems like a wonderful hobby. We watch the garden grow and grow and grow. Oh, beautiful. I can really appreciate the beauty of those flowers. We have some red flowers. <gasps> Ooh. We have some orange flowers. Oh, I like them. 
that one's really pretty. What's that one called? A poppy. All right here, you see a label which tells you the name of the flower. We see some yellow blooms. Hmm, there's a daisy. Marigold. Beautiful. We grow something green. These are all ferns. And some blue flowers too. Whoa, oh, this one's pretty. What's that one? Well, that's a hy hyacinth. Hyacinth, I could be saying that wrong. <laughs> and some purple flowers too. So that is all the colors of the rainbow. Pretty cool. And when all summer long, we pick them and bring them home. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. Oh, so what did this book show us that helped take care of the earth? Planting a garden, right? Using natural resources like bulbs and um, flower seeds to grow your own garden, which is wonderful for the earth because we know that uh, flowers do lots of really great things for our environment, like attract bees and butterflies, and they like to drink the, the pollen and the nectar out of flowers, and then they go and pollinate other things. So it's so important for our earth to plant flowers. And it's also a fun hobby, like I said. So here's my challenge for you guys today. If you have any seeds or anything, go outside in your backyard and try to plant them. And if you don't have any seeds in your house, because some people that's just not a thing that they have in their house, like I don't have any seeds, but I could make a flower. I could make a flower with construction paper or maybe some recycled materials you could make a flower out of. So make a flower or plant a seed, plant a flower, or plant something today if you are able to. And if you can't, then make something. Be creative. It's your chance to have fun and be creative. And if you do that, send us a picture on Google Classroom or send us a picture on Class Dojo and we would love to see your beautiful flower creations. Have a great Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow with Be Kind, which is an amazing book. Bye guys.